we're going to talk about radio, music trends. What's my favorite album? Oh my goodness, she's in here. All right, let's bring it in. Hi. Here. <laughs> how are you? I'm good. How are you doing? Most importantly, how's your family doing? My family is good. We honestly cannot complain. We are um, out by the pool today. Sorry, I have on that my son had today glasses <laughs> and I came right in. I didn't even put lip gloss on for you guys. I'm so sorry. It's all good. You're Kelly Rowland. You can do whatever you want. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. How are yeah. you handling quarantine? Um, you know, I'm handling it very well. I'm staying inside. I'm actually in Atlanta. So despite what our governor says, I'm actually going to listen to our mayor, Mayor Keisha Lance Bottoms. She Keisha! Inside. Yeah, exactly. We got a man named right. Keisha. So Keisha told us to stay inside. We staying inside. Good. But, Good. As you should. But yes. your, son, your, your son is five, right? Yes, he's five. So you're doing the homeschooling? What type, what type of teacher are you? I'm not a teacher. I'm going to make that very clear. <laughs> I'm far from a teacher. I was just telling somebody else that I, I'm not a good teacher. Um, if he says, Mommy, uh, I need a break, I, I try to give him a break. Gotcha. Um, and Because I realize that this is very new for both of us. Mm -hmm. And um, yeah, I'm not a teacher. <laughs> I'm far it's from a teacher. <laughs> It's all good. Yes. Um, now, what was your first reaction when the pandemic started? Because I give you a lot of credit. You were sounding the alarm early. I love your posts comparing yeah. if we do social distancing as opposed to if we don't. I thought yeah. that was very powerful. Yeah, well, you know, it's, it's really unfortunate that we have um, a leader of our country who didn't see this uh, as serious uh, to the American people um, in the first place. And so I feel like, of course, now we're in this predicament, but I, I do feel like we, because he didn't do his part, we have to do our part yeah. and uh, listen to um, the people who are really giving us specific instruction on it all and uh, be respectful and be kind to each other. And I think in being kind to each other is uh, listening to <laughs> the directions. <laughs> Absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. What did you have planned before things started getting shut down? What were you gearing up to do? Uh, drop, dropping my whole record, like dropping the whole record, um, doing visuals and uh, getting ready to shoot videos and, you know, the, the ending process of an album, which is very exciting. And it's been a, um, a long process, a long six years for me. Yeah. Got a record. So, yeah, you know. So we, are, so we are getting the album because your last project yeah. was an EP, uh, yeah. the Kelly Rowland edition, which I like. I like See Me, by the way. I thought that was a great Thank song. You. Thank you very much. I appreciate <laughs> that. Thank you. Nah, you're welcome. You're welcome. But let's talk about the single that you just put out a couple of weeks ago, Coffee, yeah. Coffee and Sex in the Morning. Uh, talk about the creative process because it's such a beautiful song. Thank you. Uh, the creative process actually came about through a uh, co-sign of the interns and uh, Sid and it has a finishing touch on there from uh, uh, Sh Sham. Sham is a producer who's so incredibly talented and um, it just really just came about like in the studio. We just like um, put it together and I've had it actually since 2017. Wow! And you been that long for us? Yeah, yeah. You know, I'm an <laughs> artist and I'm sensitive about my ish. Um, so it was it was that and uh after that uh this past well last year the end of last year i went to miami to shoot the video for coffee and uh, we had the best time and it was very easy uh as far as the concept was concerned it was actually um brought through i feel like or inspired by like rock the boat and love will never yeah. do without you and like you can feel those artists in there but i wanted uh black women to be able to see themselves in this video and that's why i have so many different tones and textures and body yeah. types and that really meant a lot to me and i love how we stood there together um just solidified and unified and, and that really meant a lot to me too yeah, that video really takes the song up to another level. 
I was here for all that melanin magic. It, it was Thank beautiful and it, and it was powerful. Thank and, you. and it's already like over a million views on, on YouTube, I think. Yeah, 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 I'm really yeah. happy. It's been received beautifully. I really appreciate everybody who's uh, gone and looked at it for sure. Nah, definitely. And I'm excited about the album. What can we expect from it? Um, yeah. Any big features that you can we tell get us to about? Dance. We get to dance on this album. Oh, I we get to dance. Thought, oh, yeah. I noticed on my last albums, I was like, gosh, I was like really in a mellow mood. And mm -hmm. this time I'm like definitely ready to, like, you know, get a little. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> We're ready for that. But Thank speaking you. of coffee, I got to ask you about uh, Coffee with Kelly After Dark. Oh, it's, boy. It, no, 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 no. I think it's it, it's funny, it's raw, but it's needed, especially during this time, because it yeah. helps us get our mind off of the craziness that's happening yeah. right now. Yeah, yeah. Is, yeah. That, is that one of the reasons why you, you decided to do it or you started it? Yes, you're exactly right. Thank you so Thank you for noticing that. <laughs> I really appreciate I pay attention. it. Like, again, I, I'm, I'm here for all these moments because, again, yeah. it, it just takes us to a better place. Yeah, no, and that's honestly, every time you bring up sex around anybody, it becomes the, <laughs> you know what I mean? The, the whole giggle, the whole giggle factor, which I, I love, and it makes people like, like, I, I mean, on the show, I'm always so blown away by people who are just like, just whose sexual energy is like totally out there. Well, I love such and such. I'm like, <laughs> yes, communicate. So it's it's just been so much fun and getting to know like fans and, and new people who come on or come, you know, I call it in the room, who come in the room. So I just, I have the best time and I'm so happy that people have been, um, you know, rocking with me on uh, Coffee with Kelly After Dark. So I'm gonna tell you my favorite episode was oh with Kiki Palmer. <sighs> You know, she has such great energy. She and the line of that episode was when she said, y'all were talking about the first time, she said, I thought it was going to be like Love and Basketball, but it was more like that scene in the wood. <laughs> it fell out. I was like, I think that's like almost everybody's first experience. Yes, yes. We all didn't know what the heck we were doing, <laughs> just trying to figure out, wait, where does this go? And what is this happening? Like, I, I remember the first, oh, no, I'm going to save that for cover again. Let me read it. I'll just say it. Good tease, good right there. I'll just say it. I remember the first time I, I got hot. And I'll, mm -hmm. I'll never forget. I was like, something is wrong with me. And, and the guy's like, no, that's that's supposed to happen. And I was like, <laughs> is it now? I think you're full of it. And then I just ran. I just ran out. I'll never You forget. ran out. I ran, I ran, I was so <laughs> petrified. I was like, I don't know what comes after this. Like, I just know that my body temperature is hot. I'm hot. And he was like, yeah. I was like, <laughs> He's like, yeah, he was all hot. Yeah, I'm like, uh-uh, I don't know what this is. So is yeah. this something that you're gonna continue to do even after the pandemic is over? Have you thought about like taking it to a streaming platform or television or it making a web series? Fun. Hmm? It would be fun. Um, I I should definitely talk to my team about that. I think that they would. I mean, any any moment that you get where you can be able to be closer uh, to to your audience is is fun. Yeah, for sure. Absolutely. I think we would be here for it. Um, I actually wanted to to share this with you. Obviously, you know, being at Pandora, we're big on analytics, we're big on trends, and one of the things that we've seen since the pandemic started is there's an increase in R and B streaming. Yes! <laughs> what are your thoughts? <laughs> what are your thoughts on that? Given that the climate that we're in, I mean, I have my thoughts, but you are the R and B goat, so we want to know, like, why you think R and B is up right now? I mean, R and B makes you feel something. I mean, just the the two words combined: rhythm and blues and soul and artistry. And it doesn't matter whether it's jazz or or, or gospel, or you feel something. You know what I mean? I think that R&B has a pulse, it has a heartbeat. It's amazing. Um, melody, oh gosh, melody. Just everything about R&B is rich. And it just, yeah. it just makes you feel like you're dripping with richness. It yeah. does, yeah. Absolutely, no, I, I couldn't agree with you more. And it just takes you to a better place. It does. It does. And I think that like we all, like I said, even about Coffee with Kelly at the Dark, you just want to feel like somebody's just picking you up and just, you know, giving you a moment to 
get out of it all. So yeah. Absolutely. Um, obviously, being a veteran in the game, you know, you've done so much and you've had a great career. What advice would you give to artists right now who might just be emerging or are starting out and can't do shows right now or any festivals? And we don't really know when that's going to come back. I say we in the same boat when it comes to performing. I miss it. I mean, it's it's not to say that you can't, you know, have some really cool setup in your place and create your own space in which people can come and right. uh, which is beautiful. Uh, but you you definitely um, you can still do it. You can still do it, whether you do it on Instagram live or um, you just find ways to be creative, you know, on, on your YouTube page. It's, it's so cool now how much you're able to to, you know, be very um i don't know like you can you you how you can connect with your audience now. absolutely yeah absolutely it's a lot of creativity happening right now so yeah. i'm gonna wrap it up with my quarantine questions and i have a surprise for you oh, once, right before this is over it's a good surprise you're gonna like this so okay. what's the best thing you, you've watched so far since this whole thing is starting we've kind of been on lockdown little fires everywhere little fires everywhere what's that Oh my gosh, we have to support each other. This is Carrie Washington's show. She oh, executive yeah. producer. Okay. On Amazon, uh, right? Yeah, uh, Hulu. It's on Hulu. it's on yes. Hulu. And it's uh her and Reese Weatherspoon, who I absolutely love as well. But when I tell you this show is so bomb and the performances are so bomb, like you have to watch it for sure. Okay, I'm gonna check it out. I've been seeing yeah. the previews for it on Hulu, so I'm gonna definitely check that out. What's, uh, have you tried cooking any new foods? I saw you was like eating some ribs or something a couple of weeks ago. No, my G, that was yesterday. I had oh, ribs yesterday. yesterday. <laughs> <laughs> yes. I had ribs yesterday and they were so good. There's a chef here and um, she made ribs and uh, like catered like, you know, our food for the day or whatever. And I didn't want to cook. So um, yeah, she brought us food. It was absolutely beautiful food made me feel like i was like back home with my grandpa i was so happy and um yeah i i am not a very good cook if really I'm no i thought that i was like you know 20 years ago but now <laughs> i feel like i've been on the road so much and i haven't been able you know cooking is definitely something that you practice and mm -hmm. and i want to be better about it uh, but yeah, I'll make fish or whatever one day for my husband and then the next day I'll make the same dish and it will be terrible. I don't, I think it's like just being inconsistent with it just makes me kind of fall off a bit, which is, eh, it's fine, but I'm going <laughs> to learn. I'm going to learn. Oh man, that's funny. Um, my last question before my surprise. Yes. Um, during this time where there's so much confusion, we don't know when we're going to get out of this, we don't know who to believe or what sources to believe, whether it's the government or whoever. What advice would you give to people right now? I would say, well, something my mom used to always tell me, which is, sorry, um, treat people the way you want to be treated. Mm. Um, if you know someone or if you have um, symptoms, you don't want to just lollygag out in public you know what i mean like as if you don't have anything because i remember seeing this one did you see the one meme where there's like the matchsticks yes the that matchsticks. was great it freaked me out it's literally when i locked my door like i started wiping everything like three times a day like down from handles to um 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 um, um uh light switches everything and like really got strict about just, you know, being home quarantined. And it's, it's, uh, I know it's hard, you know, cause I have friends yeah. who are like by themselves at home and I've actually talked them out of being extremely sad. And I get like why, it, of course, like I get like why, why it is sad because they just, they're just there by themselves. And then I talked to another friend of mine and she said, I have really enjoyed this time by mm. myself. And she said, and she said, I might sound crazy. She said, but um, I started talking to myself. <laughs> she said, and I am a really, really um, an interesting person. And I just said, 
<laughs> good for you. And I said, tell me how. And she starts talking to me about all these different things. I said, well, I've seen those things and like known those things about you all this time. Mm -hmm. And she's like, thank you. And But she had to understand it. She had to know what incredible, you know, an, an incredible person she is. But it is hard. You know what I mean? I get it. But for the sake of each other and each other's family, we don't know what everybody else is dealing with. You know, uh, there's asthma and hypertension and high cholesterol. This is in the African-American communities that it is rampant. We have to be kind to each other and stay home because this, this specific virus affects us in a way that it doesn't affect everybody else. So true. Yeah. So true. I'm going to have to replay that over and over for my friends that want to go out and be outside all the time. Tell them I get it, but I go outside. That's like I said, we were spending all day today outside. So if, if being outside makes you feel better, go outside and go for a walk and, right. and chill. But do not put other people in danger. We can't do that to our community. We can't do that to each other. We can't do that to each other as a, as a people, period. Facts. Facts. Yeah. All right, you ready for my surprise? I think so. So, um, you are one of only, I think, 500 or 600 artists on Pandora that mm -hmm. have over 1 billion streams. What? And okay, and just to put this in perspective, Pandora, we're only in the US, and this does not include any of your streams from Destiny's Child. So, congratulations, Sydney. <gasps> Are you serious? I'm very serious. Look, I got lipstick on deep. No, no, you're good. You're good. You're going to get all of my gums and everything. That <laughs> makes me so happy. Thank you. Thank Just for us to build your streams, I think, in the past uh, month or so. So, congratulations. That's incredible. Thank Billion you with a so beat. much. That is bomb. Yes. <laughs> so, once this is all over, we're going to make sure that we like do something for you and get you some sort of plaque, okay? I would love it. Thank you so much. Thank, well, thank you. you. Thank you for your time. We appreciate hey. you. You're listening. Make sure you go to Pandora. Listen to Kelly Rowland Radio. Support yes. the Real Coffee. It's great. Request it on local radio because we need to drive them numbers up as well. Thank you so much. I appreciate you. you. You made you my day, day that much better. I'm about to go celebrate a billion with some celery juice. <laughs> Enjoy. Take care. Be safe. You too, babe. Bye-bye. Bye, everybody. Thanks for joining.